Fractions, fractions, they're parts of a whole. Fractions, fractions, they're what I know. They're equal pieces, they're parts of a pie. Fractions, fractions, they're... Welcome to the 3B Fraction Party! No cake, no party. But we are lucky. We have one whole cake. One whole cake for our fraction party. Let's share this cake. One whole cake. I want a big piece for myself, big huge piece for me, and little pieces of cake for everyone else. Just joking, that's not fair! Let's cut the cake. I will cut the cake into equal parts. I start to cut the cake into two equal parts. One half, one half. I have cut the cake into two equal parts. One whole cake, one half, one half. Two halves equals one whole cake. Plus one half equals one whole cake. Can I cut the cake into more parts? Yes, I can. I will cut one half into Two quarters. I will cut the other half into two quarters. Now I have four quarters. One quarter two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Two quarters equals one half. Two quarters equals one half. One half plus one half equals one whole cake. Can I cut the cake into more equal parts? Yes, I can. I will cut one quarter into two parts. I will cut one quarter into two parts. I will cut one quarter into two parts.
one quarter, two parts. How many parts do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have cut the cake into eight equal parts. I have cut the cake, one whole cake, into eight. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths, eight eighths equals one whole cake. I have divided one whole cake into eighths, eight equal parts. Here is one eighth, one eighth. Here there are seven eighths. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. There are seven eighths on the table and one eighth in my hand. is. But what is a fraction? This is a fraction. One eighth is a fraction. It is one part of a whole. One part of a whole cake. One eighth. In a fraction, the top number is the numerator and the bottom number is the denominator. I have two halves, but I want to cut the cake into quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. I have cut one whole cake into quarters. Four quarters 
equals one whole cake. Mmm, I like this quarter. I will eat this quarter later. This quarter is for me. Now there are three quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters. This is a proper fraction because there are three quarters and three quarters is less than one whole. One cake and another cake. I have cut the cakes into quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, six quarters, seven quarters, eight quarters. I have Eight quarters. Mm, I like this piece. I am going to give this piece, this quarter, to Maestra Anto. She can eat it later. Now I have seven quarters. Seven quarters. That is an improper fraction because it camouflages one whole and three quarters. Addition one eighth plus seven eighths equals eight eighths. Eight eighths equals one whole. One eighth and seven eighths 
are complementary fractions because one eighth plus seven eighths together make eight eighths. One whole. Complementary fractions complete a whole. Here I have a cake divided into four quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. Four quarters. Hmm. Four quarters equals one whole cake. Ah, this is an apparent fraction. is cut into eight parts. It's cut into eighths. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. Eight eighths. Hmm. It is an apparent fraction. Eight eighths is one whole cake. Here I have two cakes divided into quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, six quarters, seven quarters, eight quarters. I have eight quarters. Eight quarters. Eight is a multiple of four. This is an apparent fraction. Eight quarters equals two whole cakes. have cut this cake into 24 parts, one for each child in 3B. Let's check. One twenty-fourth, two twenty-fourths, three twenty-fourths, four twenty-fourths, Yes, I have twenty-four twenty-fourths. This is an apparent fraction. Twenty-four twenty-fourths equals 
one whole, one whole cake. I have one part for each child. It is an apparent fraction. I have two cakes. This cake is cut into quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. This cake is cut into four quarters. This cake is cut into eight. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths. I will take one quarter. This is one quarter. One quarter. One quarter. Here I will take two eighths. One eighth. Two eighths. Here I have one quarter. Here I have two eighths. Hmm. Let me look closely. Wow, they are the same. One quarter equals two eighths. One quarter and two eighths are equivalent fractions because they are equal. But let's check. This is one quarter. I will take one eighth and put it on the quarter. I will take another eighth and put it on the quarter. Yes, two eighths equal one quarter. They are equivalent fractions. <laughs> Fractions, fractions, they're parts of a whole Fractions, fractions, they're what I know They're equal pieces, they're parts of a pie Fractions, fractions, they're all right.